I mean, there's a couple of ways you can beat Marquez. You know, um, I'm not gonna give away my game plan, but I know that uh, you know if you push the pace on him, you know he doesn't like that. He likes to fight his own pace. So if you push the pace on him, he he hates that. Um, the speed, you know, you can make him pick up his feet. I can use my speed too, you know, and uh, make him pick up his feet and make him lunge forward. There's a lot of things that I can do to Marquez to make him more comfortable in the ring. And I'm gonna have to switch it up and alter it because he's very uh, he's very intelligent. He's a very intelligent fighter. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of a lot of things in there too to keep him honest and to keep him thinking constantly and always keep him uh, on his toes. He's very crafty, man. He's one of the best technicians in the game. I know that uh, you know Mayweather is the best technician, uh, but Marquez, I rate him up there with Mayweather, right there with Mayweather as, as the best counter puncher and the most accurate fighter in the game. Uh, you know what, man? If that fight ever materialized, heck yeah, I would love a shot at Mayweather. I think I'm the only guy in boxing. You know, that's close to the weight class that, that can definitely give him a challenge, man, because uh, I feel I have the speed, I feel that I have the movement, I, th I think I have everything it takes, man, to get in there and, uh, you know, uh, give Mayweather some problems, man. You know, Mayweather is, is a wizard in the game. Uh, he got long, a long reach. You know, he's not very tall, but he's very quick, very elusive in the ring. Uh, he knows every every in and out of the ring. So, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Whoever gets in the ring, it's going to be tough to beat this guy. But I feel that I'm... I'm the guy right now in this era that can that can probably get to him. The only guy. Yeah, the only guy in the weight class. Tim, I asked Joel before about your IQ. Your boxing IQ is very, very high. You know to take a knee where so many other fighters are in the features aren't even aware of that possibility. Right. How, how do you pick all that up? Man, it's just from watching film. You know, uh, I've been watching film for the last two days now. Been watching Marquez for the last two days. Um, you know, yesterday I went to the gym and I was just like, this dude's not going to beat me. You know, uh, I put myself in, 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 in the ring with him, you know, when I'm watching him. I'm looking at his mistakes. I'm looking at everything where I can capitalize on. I'm looking at his strengths and everything. And uh, it's just from watching film, constantly watching film, man. And uh, that's what, you know, you gather, you have to gather different, different things from different fighters and you try to add it to your arsenal. But, uh, you know, taking the knee is just... You know, it was either take a knee or be knocked out in my last fight. And uh, I figured I'll let it go through the scorecards. I'll take that knee, man, because I'm telling you, he was bringing that pressure on, and he was uh, throwing some, some hard shots out there. And if I would have got clipped probably one more time because I was exhausted, he would have definitely uh, probably took me out. Did you spot flaws in Marquez when you watch him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I spot a lot of flaws in Marquez. I mean, every fighter has flaws. You know, I definitely do spot flaws. And I definitely feel that I'll be able to uh, capitalize on his flaws and his mistakes because I'm fast. He's an excellent counterpuncher. Yeah, he's an excellent counterpuncher. He Love is. Crouches. He crouches down a lot. Yeah, he crouches down a lot, and he likes to pop up with shots. And uh, you know, but uh, I, I know exactly what he likes to do. I know, I know exactly what he likes to do, man. Every shot you throw, he's trying to counter. Every.